guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So in a few days, I'll be packing my bags to head overseas to travel around Europe, which is so exciting. So I'm going to be going to Italy, Greece, Netherlands, Switzerland, France, England. I'm just so excited. So I wanted to share with you today what makeup products I'm going to be taking and traveling with. So kind of how I went about picking each product is firstly, I have to love it. You know, I don't want to take something overseas that I'm like, do I actually like this? Am I going to be using it? I have to love the product. I know that it works for me. And also packaging, you know, I don't want to take something that's too big and bulky and it's going to take up too much room or that may break and be messy. So that's kind of how I went about picking each product. I'm going to be showing you an overview of everything first and then I'll go into more detail about each product and why I'm taking it. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and if you're traveling yourself I hope that this video is helpful. In regards to me posting to my Instagram and YouTube while I'm away nothing is going to change. I have been pre-filming and creating new looks like left right and center so I will be sticking to my regular schedule although maybe just keep in mind that if I do upload maybe a day early a day late or just at a different time than I usually would I may be on a plane, a train, traveling between Europe and might not have Wi-Fi for a little bit. So just bear with me. But know that I am in Europe trying my absolute very best to get an upload out for you guys. So we should be good. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my social media links below. And leave me a comment down below telling me your dream travel destination. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is an overview of everything. And I know it looks a lot. I'm one of those people that will pack like 27 different outfits for a three day trip. To be fair, I am going away for six weeks. You know, I'm going to so many different locations and I just want to be prepared for every occasion. So this little bag here is what I'm going to be taking in hand luggage. So this has all of my makeup essentials in it. So all of this is going to be in my suitcase and say my suitcase gets lost. Fingers crossed it doesn't know like, oh, that gives me stress just like thinking about it. But say it does, everything that I really need is in here to create like a basic everyday look. Like when it comes down to it, all of this is just extra, but... I'm gonna take it anyway. <laughs> and then all my makeup brushes are in this case and then my makeup is all in these plastic zip up cases. And I know that this isn't a proper makeup travel bag, but I actually like how I can separate everything rather than just having one big bulky makeup bag. You know, I can put things in different compartments in my case and it's all categorized. So that way say all I wanna do is do my face that day. Then this is all I need and I can leave the rest in my case. Or if I am gonna be doing my full routine, then I just need to take this one to the bathroom, then when I finish with that, can put it back in the case. Then take this one to the bathroom, then put it back in the case, and then same with this one. I'm now gonna go through everything and show you what I'm bringing overseas. So let's start off with the liquid face and base little category. So in here I have primers, foundations, concealers, and liquid highlighters. And what I love about these plastic cases is firstly that it's see-through on the front and back. So I can see exactly what's in here and also it's deep enough to fit like a fair amount of product but not so deep that you know you're putting your hand in and digging through products and you lose everything and I just got these from my local makeup and special effects shop but you I'm sure you could find these online like in a matter of minutes so I'm gonna be taking four primers with me so of course I have to take my favorite primer which is the Urban Decay self adjusting complexion primer this blurs your skin like nothing else it literally makes you look photoshopped this is perfect under your foundation or on those no makeup makeup days where you just want to kind of even out your skin it's my favorite primer so I'm not gonna be leaving the country without it next up is the makeup forever step one radiant primer and this like brightens your skin and just makes it look like fresh and awake and it's also really soothing and cooling on the skin again it's a perfect product for those no makeup makeup days so you're going to the beach or something and you just want your skin to look like healthy so gonna be taking this one. Next up is the Mecca Cosmetica Anti Redness Primer and this is a green primer which will color correct redness. So say I get sunburn on my face or body, hopefully I won't though because I'll be wearing sunscreen but I am very fair so if I do get burnt like I look like a tomato. So I can use this to kind of dull down and calm down some of that redness if I do get sunburn. And then I have the Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in Pistachio, another green primer but this is a lot thicker so I wouldn't apply this all over my face or body. This was like a last minute throw in because I thought, you know, I don't know how my skin's going to react to the long plane trip, the different environment, the different food. So I thought, you know, if I have like a nasty, irritated red spot, then I can just apply this to 
kind of dull down some of that redness. So I just thought I would pop this in as well. I'm going to be taking three foundations with me. So I can't see myself being fake tanned the whole trip. I am going to be taking a one hour fake tan express with me so that, you know, if I do have an hour free during the day, I can just apply it and then be nice and bronzed. So I needed a foundation that would suit me when I am fair. And then when I do have fake tan on and then kind of like an in-between foundation shade. Of course, I have to take my fave, which is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Chai. I love this. It has amazing coverage. It looks so nice on my skin. So I'll definitely be wearing this when I am fake tanned. Next is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in Fair. So this is more of a foundation that I would wear during the day. You know, it also is more luminous than the Huda Beauty Foundation, which is more matte. So say I only need my foundation to last, you know, a few hours, then this is what I would grab. Whereas if I was doing something that I needed my foundation to last morning to night, then I would definitely use the Huda Beauty foundation. But you know, if I was just popping out somewhere, then I would grab this one here. And also I can wear this when my fake tan is fading and I'm becoming more fair. And another thing is that both foundations are packaged in plastic, which is great. So we won't have any broken bottles or a mess. Then we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Fair Beige. This matches me when I have no fake tan on and has amazing coverage and it just looks really nice on my skin and the packaging is also travel safe. I'm taking three concealers with me so of course my favorite the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. I use this every day for multiple reasons. It has such amazing coverage and it's just a really nice concealer so not only do I use it to brighten and conceal under my eyes and down the center of my face but also if I'm doing an eyeshadow look and I'm starting off with the eyeshadow then I'll use this as my base and I'll also use this to carve out and clean up my my brows. So I definitely could not go anywhere without this. Then I have my favorite tube concealer, which is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair. And then we also have here the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair. So I love this. It's easy to blend, great coverage. This is definitely a concealer that I would reach for if I'm doing something um, day to night and I just want my makeup to last or if I'm just doing something at night and I know that my makeup's going to be a little bit more dramatic this is what I would reach for and then if I was doing something just during the day or if I was doing a no makeup makeup look and I just wanted a little bit of coverage under my eyes or just down center of my face then this is what I would reach for. I have two liquid highlights here both of which I love to mix into my foundation to give my skin more of like a glowy luminous look and I also love to use them by themselves and just pop them on the tops of my cheekbones to give like my highlight more of a pop. So I have here the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Perla and then the Cover FX Custom Enhanced Drops in Celestial. This is the most intense liquid highlighter I own. I love it. It has more of a pink undertone. So this is what I would gravitate towards more if I was pale and I just wanted to use it on like my no makeup makeup days. Whereas this one here has more of a golden undertone. So when I am tanned I'm gonna, and I'm a little bit darker, this is the one that I would grab. And I mean... I'm on holiday, who doesn't want their skin to look nice and glowy? Oh, and I also have here the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the 30ml travel one, but I actually might pop it in my little powder category so that once I finish with all, with all of my powders on my face and I've set everything down, then I can use this to lock everything in and make sure that my makeup lasts all day. So I might take that out of this little category and pop it in the next category that I'm about to show you. Let's move on to the biggest case that I have. So in here are all of my powders and all of my like non-everyday eye products. So let me take you through what's inside. I have two powders to set my face. So usually I would use a loose powder, but I was like, you know, if I accidentally drop it or something, it's gonna make the biggest mess. So I just have pressed powders. So I have here the Rimmel Stay Matte. Now this is a translucent powder, so it's not gonna add any coverage to my skin. It's just gonna set those liquids into place and ensure nothing is gonna crease or move throughout the day. And then I have here the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation in beige. Now this does add a little bit of coverage so say my foundation wasn't giving me quite enough coverage then I can just add this over the top it does have a mirror which is really handy so you know this is what I'll be just throwing in my handbag and 
just handy to have. No surprises, I'm taking my Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I love to contour with this and the packaging is a little bit bulky, but I actually do use the brush that it comes with just to like hollow out my cheekbones. So, you know, it's not too bad when you have the product and the brush, but I definitely had to take this with me. I'm taking two bronzers with me. So here is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light to medium. So this is what I'll use when I have no fake tan on. And then here is the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. As you can see, this is a little bit darker. So this is what I would use when I do have fake tan on. I love both of these. And, you know, I definitely want to look nice and bronzy on holiday. For blush, I feel like I've gone way too overboard, which is weird because when I was, you know, thinking through about what products I was going to take, I was like, you know, I only need like one or maybe two blushes. I've ended up with five. So I have here two Sigma blushes. So this one here is in the shade Cotta Rosa. It's just your classic everyday nude blush. And then this one here, which is in the shade that I don't know how to pronounce. So of course, as always, I'll just leave it down below in the description box. But you know, it's more of your bright pink. So if I was going for more of your classic bright summer makeup look, then this is the one that I would go for. And then I have here two Too Faced Love Flush Blushes. That is a tongue twister. And this one here is in the shade Your Love is King. This is more of, you know, your nighttime blush. It's a little bit darker. And then here is in the shade I Will Always Love You. This is like your classic coral nude blush. This one is perfect for if I am a little bit more fair. And then I heard that little voice that always seems to come out when I'm packing that was like, um, what happens if you want more glowy cheeks on one day? So somehow I've ended up by also packing the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I mean, I love this blush anyway, so I'm happy to pack it. Really nice color. It gives your cheeks like a subtle, nice glow. So... I'm taking this one as well. I'm taking three highlighters with me. These are all some of my absolute favorites. They are so intense. So I have here the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. I mean, this highlighter, I am obsessed with it. Like, obsessed. So it was a no-brainer. I was just like, yes, I have to take this. This is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlight in Kitten. This is more of a pink champagne shade, whereas the ColourPop Highlight was more of a white. This is one I would more gravitate towards when I'm wearing nothing else on my skin and I'm having a no makeup makeup day because it is actually made of putty, so it doesn't look heavy or powdery or cakey on your skin whatsoever. So I love this one. This is the Jouer Powder Highlight in Skinny Dip. This is such an intense highlight. It's a little bit darker than the previous two highlighters, so I wouldn't be able to wear it when I have no fake tan on. But this has like a gorgeous gold undertone, so perfect for those days when I, when I want to look super bronzed and golden and glowy. Now for the eyes. So I was really tossing up with what palette I should take because a few caught my eye, but then I was like, you know what? I don't think I would even use half of these shades. So I decided to make my own custom palette using single shadows, and this is a Z palette palette that I just get from the Makeup Geek Cosmetics website when I'm making a purchase there. And then in here I have Sugar Pill Cosmetics, Makeup Geek and Colourpop Single Shadows. So these five shadows are all from Makeup Geek. They're foiled shadows and you know they're kind of the star of the show. This is what I'll be popping on my lid. So here is a champagne colour, also perfect to highlight with. More of a peachy pink, a light gold, a darker gold. And here's more of like your nighttime brownie bronze. So these shades are more of you know your warm neutral transition shades and then these shades here are more of like your neutral darker shades to really smoke out and intensify a look and then of course you have to add in a black to again intensify a look or if maybe if you want to like smoke out the lower lash line and then here are more of the pops of colors so down here are like the purples the pinks the corals I just thought these colors were so cute you know I can just imagine me putting on like a light wash of coral eyeshadow on my lid before like making my way down to lunch in Santorini I don't know, I just, I thought these were so cute. And then I love using a bright orange and yellow to act as a transition shade. So I knew that I definitely had to include those colors in this little palette. And then the red, not only to warm up or intensify a look, but also to mix in with this shade here, which is like a really dark brown purple shade because I get my hair dyed every six weeks and I'm going to be gone for six weeks. So my regrowth by the end of my trip is not going to be looking too cute. So if I blend those two shades together, then I can kind of apply it to the roots of my hair to kind of brighten up my hair and 
get rid of that like regrowth look. I've also popped in a Too Faced glitter glue just to intensify the pigment of those shimmer shades. Taking two of the Steel Out Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadows. So here is Gold Goddess and then Diamond Dust. Your classic gold and silver glitters. Not only do I love to apply these on the lid to add a little extra drama to a look, but you know, if I don't feel like applying eyeshadow and I'm going out for a night, then I love to just pop these on my inner corner to add a little extra something to look and it only takes like 10 seconds to apply. And taking three colorful liners, again, if I don't feel like applying eyeshadow, but I just want to add a little extra color or pop to the look. So these are the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons. Not only do I love these, but they are roll up, so I don't have to bring a sharpener, which is great. That just takes up added space. So this one here is out of the blue. Then we have this gorgeous color here, Fine Wine. And then we have a purple, which is called Grape Vine. So we have the last small little compartment. So in here are all of my lip products, my mascara, brow products. So let me show you what's inside. So just keep in mind that I have a few other products in my carry-on bag, but what I have for the makeup going in my suitcase in regards to brows are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. This is in medium brown. I do have another brow pencil. This is more of the backup brow pencil if my other one runs out, but I do really love this. It has a spoolie on the end. It creates a really nice, sharp, precise line. I'm also taking the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium brown. It's a brow fiber, so basically it tints your brow hairs, makes them look fuller, more bushy, so I love this one. I'm also just popping in here the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fiber Gel, and this is in the shade Brunette. This is a little bit lighter than the Brow Artist Plumper, so what I like to do with this is just coat it through the beginning of my brow hairs, and that way it makes my brows look a little bit more natural. For mascara, I have my current two favorite mascara combinations. I can't leave the house, let alone the country, without my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and then I love applying the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara over the top. It just gives my lashes that extra amount of length and I love it. Mascara is such an essential part of my makeup routine. So these are actually backups. And then I have these that I'm currently using in my little carry on bag, but I definitely needed backups of these. And then we have lips. I feel like I went a little bit overboard here. I swatched them all out of my arm and I did that thing where I convinced myself that I needed to take them all. I was like, this one has more of a pink undertone. This one definitely has a little bit more of an orange undertone. Whereas someone looking at it from like an outs outside perspective would be like, they're all the same. But no, in my eyes, they're all completely different and I need them all. <laughs> I tried to take products that were all the same brand or all the same size. So I have a lot of Jeffree Star lipsticks and then I also have some Kat Von D and a Huda Beauty and they are similar size. So they're just easy to all pack into this little case. Okay, I'm gonna try and balance these for you. So these are all of the nude shades that I'm taking from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. These are his Velour Liquid Lipsticks. So this one here is Hunty and that's what I'm wearing at the moment. It's my favorite liquid lipstick shade. I am obsessed. And then here we have Mannequin. It's a lighter nude shade, so perfect when I am fairer. And then here we have my go-to nude shade. I love it. This is Celebrity Skin. And then here we have Gemini. It's a darker, more like pink nude. And then here we have Leo, which is more of an orange dark nude. Do I need these all? Not at all. Am I going to take them all? Yes. <laughs> and then the last nude that I'm taking is Huda Beauty's Liquid Matte in Bombshell. This is a softer pink nude and apparently I need this as well. <laughs> and then I have four pops of color. I know that I wear crazy colors in my tutorials, but on the everyday, I really don't wear colored lip products. But I have two reds here. I feel like you have to take a red. It is a classic. So I have Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Rum, a bright classic red and then a darker red so this is in the shade unicorn blood and then I have two Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipsticks both these shades are quite like muted they're not too bright which is exactly what I like so here is one of my absolute favorites this is in the shade mother and then here we have a double dare and then I just thought I'd pop in three lip glosses I'm definitely more of a liquid lipstick type of girl but I thought I'd take the NYX butter gloss in Madeline I love this it's a fairly sheer which is what I like so you know I can just pop 
pop it on quickly if I'm going out or if I'm just having a no makeup makeup day and I just want to add a little something to my lips and this is what I would grab. And then I have two more pigmented lip glosses, both nude shades. I don't really wear like dark lip glosses. So these are both by Astralis. They're the GRL Boss Demi Matte Lip Creams. So this is in the shade Inspire and then Empower and I just really like these. Let's go through my makeup essentials bag that I'll be taking in hand luggage with me. So this is a black plastic makeup bag that I got from Revlon and my makeup is taking up about this much room so I still have plenty more room to pack some other things in here so let me show you what I have. So these are products I've already shown you but the ones that I am currently using of them. So I have here the L'Oreal Brow Us Plumper, my Clear Gel Brow Mascara, my NARS Concealer as well as my two mascaras. I also have my Benefit Precisely My Brow in number four. I love this. So easy to create such a precise line with this and I have to have a brow pencil on me at like all times. I also have here my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in medium brown. So I apply this over my brow pencil to really darken my brows, to sharpen and further define them, and also to ensure that they're gonna last throughout the day. I have here a black gel pencil. So this is Maybelline's Master Precise in Skinny. It is so small and cute, perfect for travel. And again, I don't have to use a sharpener with it. It is a wind up. And I like to tight line my eyes with this to make the root of my lashes look thicker. And say I did lose my suitcase, this is a perfect way to quickly make a look go from day to night. You know, I can just apply it in my waterline and smoke it out. So I definitely needed a black gel pencil. I also have a mini Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Pretty Thing. I just got this as like a freebie when I purchased something else at Sephora. It's perfect travel size and it's fairly sheer, which again, I like, you know, I don't need to be too precise with the application and it will just kind of pull my look together just by adding a little something to my lips and it also has like a peppermint mint flavor which I thought was good you know after a long plane flight I can just pop this on and it will just kind of refresh me a little bit. So I'm keeping all of my brushes in here it's a nice hard case so they won't get damaged and this is by Morphe it's a square snakeskin case. So when you open it up you can kind of position it like this so that all of your brushes are laid out nicely and you can see what you have in here. Let's quickly run through my face brush. Brushes. So for primer, I have the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. So this is actually a mini of my favorite primer brush, which is the 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. And this kind of comes to a point. It's just like the perfect brush to apply primer. And then for foundation, I have the Morphe Y6 brush, which is a Kabuki brush. And then to set my face and to set my powders, I have the Morphe Y1 brush. And this kind of comes to a point which is perfect for setting under my eyes. And then another brush that I have for setting under the eyes is the Morphe Y11 brush. And it's also great just to like brush away some powder. And then for my blush, I have the Morphe Y3 brush. This is a little bit more circular rather than the Morphe Y1, which has more of a point. So perfect to get the apples of the cheeks. And then for my bronzer, I have a nice uh, microfiber brush. This is what I usually use just to bronze up the skin. And then for highlighter, I have the Anastasia A23 brush, which is my favorite highlighting brush. I'm also gonna be taking two beauty blenders with me. I love applying my foundation with a beauty blender and also to blend out liquid highlighter. So I definitely had to take these. This is the Sigma Large Shader Brush. So I like to pick up concealer with this and apply it to my lid if I'm applying eyeshadow before my face. So I apply eyeshadow base with this. And then here we have have my fluffy brushes. So for my transition, I like to take the Morphe E27 as well as the Morphe Y16 brush. They're nice and fluffy, perfect for transition shades. This is the Morphe Y15 brush. It's a little bit more dense, so it's great for really packing on color in the crease. And I also like to use it if I'm gonna be taking a liquid lipstick and using that as a base. So if I do do that throughout my trip, then this is the brush that I would use. Then I have two more tapered fluffy brushes. So this is the Sigma Blending Brush and the Zoeva Soft Definer Brush. And these are great for more precise work when intensifying the crease. And then I have here the two brushes that I'm gonna be taking in hand luggage with me. So this is the Sigma Small Angled Brush. And this is what I use to pick up brow pomade to create a really sharp, defined, more intense brow and then I have here a flat synthetic brush and this is what I use to clean up my brows. So I definitely need these two brushes with me at all times to make sure my brows are on point. <laughs> I have two flat brushes here. So this is for more precise work. It's much smaller. So it's the Zweber Luxe Precise Shader. 
And then we have the bigger one here, which is the Zweeba Luxe Smoky Shader. So I'm going to use these to pack on shadows. I have three brushes here for my lower lash line. So this is the Morphe Y20 brush. So it's really small and dense, perfect to like smoke out the lower lash line. And I also like it to intensify the crease. And then I have a BH Cosmetics brush. This actually just came as a freebie when I got another palette, but it has a nice angle on it. So again, perfect for smoking out the lower lash line. And then for more precision work, I have this really cute little bullet brush by Morphe. Then we have four little brushes here which are all perfect for precision work. So I have here these Weba winged liner brush. Perfect for winged liner or I do also enjoy picking up brow pomade and using it in my brows with this. And then we have the Sigma eyeliner and Sigma winged liner brush and then just like a little brush that I got from a craft shop and these are all perfect again for liner or for intensifying a cut crease. I also have in my brush case a little brush sterilizer so I've just put it in this little squeezy tube. I can squeeze out the liquid on a tissue and then run my brush through it. Not only will it sterilize the brush but it will also take off color. So that means I can use the same brush for multiple different eyeshadow shades. And that is the end of the video. I know that there was so much talking, but I hope that this was helpful for you and you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.